Bubblegum Mountain Night. Oh, we gotta try this pipe. This looks like it's probably gonna be something. A heroic fate. I, I don't know why there are all these weird rooms, but they're kind of cool. Rip. Yeah, I didn't, I've, I'm very out of the loop when it comes to a lot of stuff. Right, so do I go up this pile? Uh, okay, I do, because you can't go in that gap. Um, wait, there's a new one that's different art style called River City Girls. Right. Yeah, there's something there's something charming about the um the NES one, for sure. You missed the Donkey Kong stream, but caught up on it. Another <laughs> thanks, man. Um, I I really like Donkey Kong Country one. Donkey Kong Country two, maybe maybe I'll love it eventually. Um, yeah, I think. Oh. Oh, okay, you hold right there, not... <laughs> uh, and then, wow, and the sunnies. And... Oh. <laughs> well, okay. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone's ever died there. I could have just held up and grabbed onto the vine, but I thought, eh, you know what? I don't need your charity vine. I'll be fine. I know how to I know how to land on an orb. I've played this game before. This psh, psh, beginner hacks, huh? Up, and then this time. Oh man, the climbing. I don't know how I feel about the climbing. <laughs> the, uh... Just, just rubbing your back up against the vine. Uh, peace first. I know this song. Is this song from Donkey Kong Country 2? I thought I, I think I recognized this from Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, and we slide, right. I forgot this was the level we have to maintain slide. Ah, uh, note block. It isn't? Okay. I think maybe don't hold jump uh, on the note block one. So this one, I will not be holding jump. There we go, all right. What's down here? It's a jump, okay. What's this one? That's a note block, all right. There are two midway tape um, so things, and one of them respawns, the other one doesn't. And oh, when you place it using map 16, right, there you go. That's a level. Instead of, yeah, so placing it as a tile rather than an object, I guess. Hot, hot depths. I wonder, I wonder how long this hack is. Uh, wait, red star blocks change Rex's state. Watch out for the yellow Rex. I'll do my best. Let's try this. Lunchtime. Haha. <laughs> I got a, I got one little bounce on it. 
Whoops. Let's jump straight away. Oh, jeez, you, yeah. Watch out for the yellow wreck. Solid crap. Um. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, it took you a couple hours on Emulator with the janky controller. Okay. What, um... How many exits are we talking? Like, am I, am I close? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not disappointed, like, I don't want this to be over. But I, I do have, uh, some stuff. I can't be on for heaps long right now. 27 plus the final castle. Alright. Because I've only done... Actually, I think I've done three Switch Palaces now. So, I imagine that we're getting pretty close. That'll be the final... Oh, alright, so this is the Thwomp level, then. Crystal Caverns. So, I remember the Thwomp one was pretty close to the end. Gone fishing. Didn't we hear this song? In, uh... In the first Switch Palace, the Red Switch Palace. Alright, so this is the part that was, a, I'm not going to say it was a nightmare, but this was, in the original Sweet and Sour, this, uh, this secret exit path was very rough. It hurt a little bit. Because there were, there was about two jumps that were a pain. Oh, we just go down that thing. It's significantly nerfed? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear. Because it took a little while. It might be the tune for Switch Palaces, okay. Apparently it's from Sonic Heroes. Oh. Significantly nerfed. <laughs> Is an understatement. The Bad Palace. I like this name. The Bad Palace. There's a... There's a... Oh, I remember this level. This was cool. What lives under the bridge? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, this is called the Bad Palace. And there's a, a level... There's a level in Quake. A deathmatch level. DM4. It's called the Bad Place. Is that DM4? Hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to sound like a real idiot. Yeah, it is. The Bad Place. DM4. There we go. That was like the first couple of jumps in the original level. This one. <clears throat> Alright, so this is... Someone was talking in Lush's stream last night saying that maybe this disco ball thing wouldn't, um, wouldn't, like, it's, a moderator's not going to enjoy it, because apparently it's like a, a common glitch or something. <laughs> I love this. I mean, it's fine. The level's not that bad. I like how this bucket's been changed to, like, allow you to bounce pretty much in the same spot with a full jump. Alright, well. 
I guess we won't jump on that switch. I'm not in the mood for dancing anymore. Which one? Which one will it be? I mean, I can try the second one. Alright. Really, really bad. You've changed dotted outlines into solid blocks with an exclamation point indicated on its face. Not bad. Uh, back to Crystal Caverns. In the first demo of this, the switches were swapped. <laughs> that would have been... Uh, that would have been... Weird, I guess, because you'd assume... I mean, it's that's that next level troll, right? The people that just automatically jump on the switch are not going to know. The people that are more cautious are the ones that are likely to get punished. I must have blocked it out. Jump. Oh, wow. There's a better way to do that, right? I think maybe you're supposed to use the ball. The ball and chain. No, the... Is that what's with it? Yeah, the ball and chain. That's probably the way to do it. Uh, to In a consistent kind of way, I guess, right? You should bounce off, off that and do like a little transfer. Do that. Alright. Yeah. I guess maybe you don't need P-Speed. Oh, wow. There's no reason for that saw to be there on respawn. <laughs> it's just a, it's a minor annoyance. I, I don't think I've got P-Speed. I don't think I can get it back. Oh, well, there we go. Didn't need it, I guess. Let's do that one. I know this song. You lose it not long after. All right, okay. What is in the... Is there something on the ceiling that's visibly dangerous? Ah. Yeah. There are spikes. to spin because you don't go on the thwomp. It just gets out of the way. Uh, let me figure something out there. Maybe I don't try and beat it. Maybe I can just stay at the top left of the, um, of the fence. I don't know. I'll go down low. Okay, they all just go in the lava. That makes me feel better. Uh, excuse me? Skip this ball and chain. A few ways to dodge all the fireballs. All right. Uh, well, this is a lot less painful than the real deal. Which wasn't that painful, actually, but... <laughs> Why did I decide to do that? Oh, I just saw a spike fall down from the ceiling. <laughs> Directly on the safe spot. Interesting. Yeah, what? Nah, how does that work? I don't know if it's... If I can do it the way that I think. Still have a bit of control. Ah, right, 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 okay. I understood. I completely understand. Why is my brain like this? Why can't I be clever like you? I noticed much earlier on that, hey, the uh, ball and chains, they'll be around for a while, hey. Hey, just do that. Oh. The boss fight is fine. It's actually my, my thinking. 
that has a problem. This happens way too often. I get incredibly inflexible in my thinking. Uh, Death's Door. Thank you for the GG's friends, uh, Seth and Milo. Oh. I saw a pipe. You can't touch that though. Good level so far. I'm guessing I go back in the pipe and this time we come out somewhere totally different. This song is annoying me. I don't know what it is about the song. It could be the, the annoying lead instrument. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Okay, what was the deal here? I had to grab this and then do that and probably catch up with that. Oh. Yep, it's, uh, it's still one of those games. Uh, that one, and then this was the part where a bad thing happened. I don't know how I didn't hit it that time. I guess I jumped slightly earlier. Oh, jeez. It just, every time I see it, it gets worse. Why did I do that? So... I really didn't think I'd lose that much speed turning around, but clearly I did it for way too long. to make the boo worse than last time. Go left to win, go right to continue. Well, we'll never want to win. I don't want to win ever. The face is a lot stranger now. I mean, the original face is May underscore 86. The new one is actually Lush. Lush himself. Of time. We have... Hey, what was that? Just a, a green one, just to be like, hey, you got the green one, that's good. Welcome to the Temple of Time. The Chosen Warrior must retrieve the special item of justice. Is that what that said? It is a fish. Fish. How many more levels we got? A handful more. Return to Subcon. Uh, what is this? Dear Ninji, I'm giving you my float ability. You only get one float per jump. Peach. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> Thanks for all the fish, Subwars. I thought you were, I thought you were supposed to be working. Well, I'll just do normal jumps. Cool. Oh, wow, I jumped too high. In this one. Uh, I have no idea. There's something over there in the original one. I thought this would just be nice, you know, sit down and play it and... 
and everything is all good. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I hate this float thing so much. Fish, and then two more fish. Got it. And then... Jump. Land on that thing. Jump. Alright. Just more fish falling everywhere. Checkpoint? Probably. Understood. Okay. Took me a second. So we just fall and then float? No, you can't float after a fall. You have to jump to be able to initiate a float. Like that. Oh, is that the end? I guess it's nice there was a checkpoint there? Sunken temple. What was the go? Sticky hands? Sticky hands. Can't let go of the key. Alright, what's the pattern here? Yeah, there was a second... Oh. In the original level of this, um, when you change power-up state, like if you get a mushroom, um, Mario would drop the key. Oh, in the final castle. Right, okay. Yeah, I must be confusing with that, because I think this one wasn't too bad. We'll see if, this, uh, if playing this jogs any memories. And then there was two down the bottom there. Got any more of those bullets for me? There we go. Alright, well we can take that at our own pace, can't we? the disco shell, right? <laughs> Understood. Late night booster. What's this one? Oh, Nutri D pad. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, I remember this one. Gloves. Gloves 24. For me, of, of what you've been up to recently. I'd like to discuss that with you. There's a block. All right, gotcha. Left, right. Oh, spin. I wonder if I need that kind of speed. I don't think I do. Hey, checkpoint. Hell yeah. Oh wait, that's not a raid, that's a host. I'm so clever. Thank you for hosting me. Gloves underscore 24. Man. Oh yeah. 
go check out gloves. I'm, um, I have to say, and I feel a little bad, I'm not actually acquainted with, with gloves underscore 24. I mean, obviously all of these levels are a lot more forgiving than sweet and sour. But I, I think I, I had, I don't know if I had a good time on this level. Maybe I did, once I'd figured it out. No, it was not a checkpoint. Aha. Uh ha ha ha. Apparently I missed that block on my first playthrough of Sweet and Sour as well. Ugh. Claims department. Claims department is closed. And this one's on the house. <laughs> oh, that's good. I appreciate that, and I like that they showed you that block as well. Oh, you're new to streaming, Kaizo. I've been playing Hacks and Mario Maker for years. Mostly streamed Hearthstone up until recently. Well, welcome. The final showdown. I can finish this up. I can go move on with the rest of my day. I'll come back on. I'm going to be back here in like six, six hours, six and a half hours, something like that. Uh, but I'll finish up very soon. Once this is done, Boo emerges from his keep. He has brought Triclide along to try and settle the score. Mario 2 fans. Am I going here? There we go. Uh, what's the what's the go with this? Do I just need to get one hit on this uh, on this nerd? I've got that song with the obnoxious lead sound. So we're just dodging, we get one hit and then we move on to the next room if I recall. I think that's how this one works. Um, Phoenix Wright, 33. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. We gotta we gotta do two hits on the second one. Welcome. I'm playing the I'm playing the ninja hack. I'm playing uh, Lush's ninja story, if that's what it's called. Okay. It seems like a, a perfectly acceptable hack that's very fun. Now, yeah, I think you might have fun. You could have a blast on this one. All right, I'm not going to be curious about the the, uh, the chain this time. Oh my goodness, he is trying to is currently in the process of getting a cart made. Uh, I think it's for this one. He was talking in his stream recently, and I didn't catch the whole context, but he was talking about just uh, ordering some parts and stuff. There, are, Yeah, there are a few. That is true. But in terms of the, you know, are there any Kaizo hacks that, um, that do that? I mean, it's, it's likely that it's... It's probably going to become more common, I suppose, is that people are going to be using the, um, like, more SA1. I still don't really understand how MSU1 works. There are some that use SA1, right. And, oh, here we go. I forgot. Do I, is this a separate... Thing? All right, cool. I get a checkpoint. Thank you. Thank you, Lush. And Things uses MS... Yes, that's right. Sweet Dude was talking about that. Uh, which I will happily test uh, because I have... You know, I've, I've got a bunch of different hardware to, to test that on. I've got an SD to SNES Pro. I've got the Mister that I'm playing on right now. Both of which apparently support MSU1, but I haven't tried to use that on either of those. I'm very curious as to as to how their MSU one sort of thing works. My understanding is that it's some sort of uh, like an audio streaming thing, like uh, it's something that can just inject just straight PCM audio into the um, into the SNES sound system or something, so that you can just have whatever like CD quality audio or whatever. Just sort of piped in alongside of whatever the SPC 700's doing.
No, wait, what won't work? I thought, um, I had to, when I got my SD to SNES Pro, I had to download, um, an MSU1 BIOS file. I think it supports it. But, like I said, I haven't had a chance to test it, that's, uh, so I'm sort of interested. Yeah, actually, if you could direct me to any hack that uses it, uh, I'd be super interested in checking it out. Door entry? That's a pipe entry in this one. Alright, let's finish this off. I'll move on with the rest of my day slash life. Hopefully I get some time to test this MSU1 stuff. Here we go, all right. Just hold down, just hold down. All you gotta do is just hold down. The end. Hey, we got a friend. <laughs> Kaizo and Mario Maker, yeah. I, it's, it's such a different beast, like the, it's not even that the games are that different and they are that different, but it's not even that. It's kind of the, um, the kinds of levels people tend to make. Um, and you've got such a wide play base as well, but just the, the conventions are really, really different. So even if you don't have an issue with the way either game feels, just the, the kind of tropes and the setups that are common, um, are really, really different. And by the way, this is not a good example of a, a regular Kaizo hack. This is very much targeted as a sort of cutesy beginner sort of one. And it was lovely. It was really good. I mean, there's a lot more you can do. Yeah, horse with no name. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> but this horse is named Yoshi. Stupid horse. Well, on the topic of SA1, I keep bringing this up, but Vitor Vilela doing a heap of SA1 stuff. It's the, he, I don't know if he's like the go-to guy when it comes to optimizing Super Mario, uh, optimizing SNES games. Yoshi's still alive. <laughs> you didn't see anything. SMB2 <laughs> All-Stars Desert Knight. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at those people. I didn't, uh, I almost missed you. B-Salt. I gotta play B Soul Tack. I gotta play um, Kybeth Takes a Walk. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. That's gonna be maybe another side quest. Big F for Yoshi. F. <laughs> Thanks for play. Yeah. Alright. Sweet and Sour awaits you. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll play it again one day. Um, so, is that confirmed the end of the hack? I guess so, right? 27. Yes, 27. That is correct. Yeah, 27. 27 is what it says. And so, it was, it was a good experience. Uh, I thought it was good. It does say here a 1.1 will happen. Yeah, 16%, uh, 27 for 100. So good, we did it all. That was a nice couple of hours. Nice experience. I it is sort of weird, right, with these zoomed in screenshots. I noticed that when I was first downloading it, I was like, what's that for? But I guess it's so you can kind of you can't really tell too much about the ninja, I suppose. Kinda of need to show that off, because I think he did a bunch of work um to make it unique. Hey, look at this. Seth left a a glowing review. <laughs> Hmm. There we go. Hey, that was that was a good little fun. They look really cool. Yeah, I had a I had a good time with it. 